Start over. <laughs> Just go. Okay. I'll cut it. So today I thought I would pull some of my orders for today and talk about my eBay sales. The first two weeks of February was like they turned my eBay off. They shut me down. Or did they? I, I don't know. I don't know if anyone else was having problems or not. But just like that, they flipped a switch. Or I, I don't know what went on. My sales went to like two sales a day for like two and a half weeks. Then this weekend, boom. Averaging, I don't know, eight to 13, 14 sales a day. I have no idea what was going on. But I'd like to talk about that. So I had to have Eric come out and help me pull some orders because I cannot hold a phone and search through bins looking for an item this big, which I lost one tonight. I still haven't found it. How but big? I'm going to. About this big. <laughs> The zoom sucks. This big. <laughs> okay, anyway. Oh, okay. I know I gotta pull a authentic Tiffany and Company crystal sugar bowl. And it's right here. I just listed this. Actually, it's it's all bagged up, but it's it's engraved on the bottom Tiffany and Company of New York. I bought this off Whatnot. I think I paid $4 for it. It sold for $22 today. So that makes me happy. Because Let me take a quick picture of your other items. Not many people get to see this. I got a lot. Anyway. Yeah. Okay, so. Oh, right behind me. I sold a Pac-Man board game. Uh, for nine dollars. I really don't remember where I got this from. I think This came from one of the auctions Pritchard's auction I think it was a whole box of toys like whole bins of bunch of toys So to put a price on all most of this stuff like individual It'll probably average out to like 75 cents an item because I buy so much I don't go to auctions and buy individual items What do you mean like boxes or what? yeah, like tubs like I buy I tubs of stuff and I'll spend anywhere from 10 to 20 to $30 for four or five tubs of stuff. So to put a... Those are the best. I know. To put an individual price on stuff, I can't do it. I can't do it. So let me put this on the counter. Do it. And I'll get more. Don't tell me what to do. Do it. Okay. Now we have a pair of Adidas Women's Racer Cloud Form running shoes. And I don't remember where I got this from. Shoe either. section. Shoe section. I think, here they are. Uh, this was in one of the Pritchard's boxes, too. So I would say I probably paid a couple bucks, if that, for these. Anyway, they sold for $10. Because I was too lazy to clean the mud off of them. <laughs> Not bad. <laughs> this is the thing I lost. I'm proud of this one. What? This is a, a set of um, vintage candle wax seal stamps. You know, like the... You put it in wax and you stamp. You I can't find them? them? No. <laughs> oh, they gotta be somewhere. I can't, I can't... They're in... They're back there. I just... I haven't had a chance. Okay. This other one is a... Schmoo. Schmoo! When I was in school. I think we seen something with him and you told me about him. This or was right? in your garage back with all them books. And I finally listed it and he sold for $15. I think he's right here. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, she had this whole conversation with me. Shmoo! I'm like, <laughs> he's like, I don't know what a shmoo is. That's out of my era. I've never uh, heard of shmoo. Yeah, because Eric's younger than me. By like two months. Yeah. <laughs> and nine years. <laughs> okay. Uh, I got these gloves off of Whatnot. I bought eight pairs of gloves for $2. And these are uh, the Vintage Betmar. They're genuine. They're rabbit fur gloves. And I paid I, I, like 50 cents a pair. These sold for $10. I think these are it. 
Yeah, these are it. No, the more cashmere gloves. What's cashmere? I don't know. <laughs> I think these. Oh, no, these are the rabbit fur. Yeah, these are the rabbit fur gloves. $10. $4.99 shipping. Anyway, I wanted to talk about why I think eBay sales stopped. Now, am I, could I be wrong? Heck yeah. I don't know nothing about this. I do know that eBay laid off a thousand workers. So, if other people had problems beginning in November, maybe that's the reason. Maybe the thousand workers they laid off had specific jobs and specific duties, one of being which promoting people. I promote most of my sales at 2%, sometimes more, depending on the price. But how possible is that the, the people they laid off until they transitioned and trained people or did whatever, it's so possible that they, they aired out in that area, I guess, is what I'm trying to say. I'd like to know if other people had problems. Or is it just me? It was awful weird. I went to maybe two sales a day for like two and a half weeks and then all of a sudden bam this weekend sales are just as good as they were in December and January I I don't understand why nothing happened I didn't get any no ships or nothing like that I, I list every day every day every day and I don't have a specific niche I list everything from books to jewelry to shoes to clothing to antiques stuff I, I don't know I don't know what happened that's my thought on it. I think the, the eBay laying all them people off, they had to, I don't know, maybe I'm crazy. Well, I know I'm crazy, but I'd like to know if anyone else had issues. Or is it just me and my crappy eBay store, evidently? So, I got this strawberry shortcake American greeting ornament. I sold for $40. We'll post a picture. We'll post a, a picture right there. But... This, I found a box of, this teacher, this t retired teacher was this, from this estate sale. And I got a whole box of vintage toys and Christmas ornaments. And in the bottom, I found this little Christmas, strawberry shortcake Christmas ornament. And it sold for $40. Now, can I put a price on what I paid for this? Probably a, a nickel. A, probably a nickel. There was uh, boxes of stuff. And I think I paid $21 for all three bins. Three tubs of stuff. So, $40. And there goes the rest of my Christmas ornament. <laughs> Eric just knocked over my Christmas ornaments I haven't listed. Including, look, more of these. Like I just sold, but Snoopy, vintage Snoopy. I told her we had to make a path in here. <laughs> I'm walking backwards, not looking. Look, what are we doing? This place is packed, but it's... There's a reason. I'm trying to sell stuff, Eric. Well, I'm just saying, this is the first time I've walked around with the camera backwards without looking. He ain't allowed in here. You know, he's not <laughs> well, allowed gonna, in here. I'm gonna he steal comes everything. in and I'm like, out. He's like, when the, the dogs come in, out. Get out. <laughs> okay, where's this thing located at? Ben, we better I. pick that up. Just step over Let's it. pause it. Let's pause it. Now I need to pull this quilted clutch evening bag. Uh, this was also in, she collected purses, and, uh, she had a lot, and this one actually still had a tag on it. Let me come around. This is in Ben I. Got all kinds of weird things. You want a Santa Claus? I got a Santa Claus. You want some matchbooks? I got some matchbooks. Okay. I think this is it. Yeah, I still got the tags on it. That sold for 10 bucks. 10 bucks. And then, I think this one's right here. I got to go into each one of these and find out where I, where I, um. Listed it. Yeah, or where or, I. Uh, stored it. Where I stored it at because I can't, there's too much to remember. I put it in my description in so this is a Hershey's kit. We got to keep this. I got contacted by this company asking me where I purchased this from because I didn't get it from them. My name's not on their register. And I said, oh yeah, well my husband bought it. Why are you throwing me under the bus? Because I got it from the Goodwill bins. <laughs> anyway, 
I laughed at him and said, don't matter, it just sold. And I lied. <laughs> and so, Hershey Kiss, Happy Thanksgiving. Little ornament thing, or not ornament, it's from 2001. That sold for $9.99. $9.99 plus $8 shipping. It won't cost $8 to ship it. But. Then the last thing I have is probably right behind you, Eric. It's a, um, a Gantz collectible cat. And it is in here. A flashlight. It's in here. <laughs> Man, that's like a hole in the floor. You're pulling all kinds there it of is. stuff out. There it is. I know. I got a lot of plush in here. I got, actually, there's stuff in every one of these tubs. Look at that. The neatest build a bear you'll ever see. What? Build a bear. Oh. Build a better, better, better build bear. Build a better, better. Okay. So, uh, blood. I don't cut myself. Call that. Call the bambolins! <laughs> you plush. Go the other way so I don't trip over and break your whole shed. Yeah, yeah, you can't walk backwards. No. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is get these boxed up. Actually, this was yesterday's. Today is Monday. The mail did not run. President's Day. Yeah, this is actually from yesterday that I'll have to take to the post office in the morning along with these other items and you better believe I'll probably sell two or three more things before the night's over so I'm done. That sucked. And I did find those two little um, stamps I had lost. They were exactly where they were supposed to be, but down inside of a cup. So tomorrow morning, I got two bags going. That's it. I'm out of here. My night's done. Have a great night and peace out. Well, that's my day. Time for dinner. I hope you have a great night and peace out. Shit falling over.